By October of this year, each city and county in the region has to plan for their share of the state mandated 1.3 million unit housing goal. It's a major task for many cities who have not had big housing targets in the past. This regional data platform is an instrument to facilitate better planning at the local and the regional scale. The part of this platform allows cities and any stakeholder to explore the region's 5.1 million land parcels to see where the new housing might be accommodated. Where are the 1.3 million units getting built across the 5.1 million parcels? Where are you going to fit it all? Here's a sport Stay analogy. Out. SCAG is helping with the game plan. We need to make sure that they have the best planning, they have the best team strategy, uh, that they have access to the technology they need to execute a perfectly executed game. But at the end of the day, the players on the field need to make the plays. I'm Long Beach Vice Mayor Rex Richardson and President of Southern California Association of Governments, the largest metropolitan planning organization representing six counties, 191 cities, and 19 million residents right here in Southern California. And I'm here to share with you about SCAG's regional data platform. This is an initiative that's a revolutionary system for collaborative data sharing and regional governance. The idea for the regional data platform grew out of a recognition that the well-being of our region is ultimately and intimately tied to the ability of local jurisdictions to plan for their own futures and share those plans in the form of land use and data with SCAG and the entire region. I've been involved in Southern California Association of Governments for about six years. I've served on the executive board for about three of those six years as second vice president, first vice president, and then president. And the SCAG Regional Council is made up of 89 members. Uh, these are elected officials representing all six counties, very different, very diverse region, both uh, geographically diverse, culturally diverse, and economically diverse right here in Southern California. There's a symbiotic relationship between regional planning and local planning. SCAG can only do robust regional forecasting and planning if it has access to timely and accurate land use data from its member agencies. Individual cities like mine in Long Beach or counties like Los Angeles or San Bernardino in Orange County. They can do more meaningful planning for their communities if they have access to data from neighboring communities and the region as a whole so they can plan within the context of a bigger, more interconnected system. Regionally, you'll have your arena the targets and your TAS maps and all of those things. You'll have your Connect SoCal plan. Then within your city, you'll have your general plan. Within your general plan, you'll have your land use elements and your housing elements. And then within that, you'll have your zoning documents, your zoning plans. Zoning is probably the third level. And so there's multiple layers of planning that need to happen in order to produce housing. Uh, what SCAG is doing is being a facilitator to make sure that process is happening collaboratively and advancing equity for smaller cities who may not have the capacity to lead these efforts to uh, plan more appropriately within the context of the region. The task ahead of producing 1.3 million units in Southern California means that we have to have an all hands on deck approach, identify the resources needed to advance housing, make sure that we streamline the processes, development communities and cities utilize in order to produce housing. And it also means we make sure that we clear the path, identify the spaces, the places, the parcels, uh, the sites that are eligible for housing. And that's why GAG began the process over the past few years in developing our regional data platform. The regional data platform is a sum of data that we collect here at SCAG from member jurisdictions and from other sources. And it helps us to shape our long range plan. SCAG's recently completed its long range budget plan for 2020 to 2045 called Connect SoCal. And in order to realize the vision set out by Connect SoCal, characterized by bold targets to address climate change, our housing crisis, economics and public health, SCAG recognized that a more coordinated local planning effort was key. Local comprehensive plans, known as general plans within your cities, are individual puzzle pieces that help bring the vision of the region into focus. These blueprint vision plans are for the community's future. Yet, many counties and many cities within the region have not updated their general plans in a very long time to help solve that problem. The data platform really designed to be a tool for city, uh, but its ability and by providing universal access to modern planning tools and data to every member agency 
of all 191 cities within the SCAG region platform is an instrument to facilitate better planning at the local and the regional scale. Access to web-based tools for data management, analytics, land use, planning, resident engagement, access to standardized regional data sets, indicators, and performance metrics. So the suite of capabilities will allow your cities and your counties to do the important work of planning for the future of your communities better and within the context of regional goals for sustainability and a healthy, thriving economic future. GAG's role with Connect SoCal is to help set a regional vision. And each city has a general plan that sets their general vision and direction for the future of their city. Within each general plan has specific elements and ultimately gets more and more specific through zoning and other policies. A jurisdiction does not have to plan and design their city alone. They can do it within the context of what's happening with, within their neighboring jurisdiction. So it's a sophisticated system of systems for regional data sharing and collaborative planning. Collaborative planning is key. These plans uh, across our region within our cities are really the guide to how we're gonna create a more thriving Southern California where people have places to live and open space and access to jobs and transit. As a regional planning agency, SCAG is interested in both upward and downward information flow within the cities and counties in the region. And that helps us to hit our regional targets like our greenhouse gas emissions or housing production and even to coordinate growth and transportation demand between all the varying cities and counties in SoCal. And we need downward information flow uh, to make sure that cities receive that information. And in December of last year, SCAG released the, the helper tool, the housing element parcel tool. And this tool is based on SCAG's open data uh, goals, specifically the, the region's 5.1 million land parcels. It, it has information on land use site, infill potential, slope ownership, how those, how close parcels are to individual everyday destinations. Uh, it allows you to look at things like environmental justice and, and whether they're in constrained or priority areas. So it's just one example of how the power of open data can be used to promote region's goals. And in this case, housing. Next role is to make sure, not that we have a few standout cities or a few cities that have their act together. Now all 191 cities have the resources they need equitably in order to advance and meet some of these regional goals and to make sure that their cities are healthy and thriving. In the history of America, policies are laced with the values of, of those in power. And over time, those values have excluded uh, communities of color, black communities, poor communities um, from uh, things like housing. Uh, one thing we can all agree on is um, transparency, open data, accountability helps us, helps everyone to be able to see see inside the policies and the impacts of the policies we set today. And I think um, in order to drive a more equitable, inclusive, uh, based on, on race and other, other factors, I think open data and transparency is gonna have to be core to whatever policy framework moves forward. The, the regional data platform can be a tool to add confidence, public trust, transparency, and uh, to track key performance measures as it relates to equity indicators on how we are creating either a more inclusive or less inclusive Southern California. Access to home ownership is one of the most significant ways to build wealth uh, within, within, within America. And so uh, tracking how communities of color are closing the racial wealth gap but through attaining home ownership opportunities is one, uh, one thing that should be tracked and evaluated. Housing cost burden, you know, whether you're spending 30% or 50% of your income on housing, that's something that we should track. What direction is that, is that going? Are we seeing an over-concentration of uh, one affordability type in one community and, and exclusionary policies that exclude affordable housing from other communities, trending in a direction that corrects that, that resolves that, or are we exacerbating the problem? Those are the questions for our generation, and open data and the regional data platform is one means to resolve that. SCAG is helping with the game plan. At the end of the day, uh, those local mayors, council people, those local developers, those are your front line, those are your quarterbacks, those are your wide receivers, your special teams. They're the ones that need to score the points and make the plays. Uh, the winners are, are the people and the children uh, that are growing up in Southern California right now. 30 years from now, when your children are adults, they're living in an area that has cleaner air, uh, access to jobs and transit, access to housing that's secure. That That's the vision. And that once we all were to agree 
and acknowledge that we're, what we're talking about here is the future for our children. I think that's where our interests intersect and we understand that uh, there are no winners and losers here. We're all in this together and either we're all gonna win or we're all gonna lose. Amazing, great, thank you so much. Rex. Okay, perfect. All Thanks right. Charlie, take all care. Right.